Hello everyone. Today we are going to do class eighth maths chapter number fifteen area practice set number fifteen point three. We are going to complete today. The other practice set from this chapter is already been completed. You all can check the description box. The link will be provided over there. So the first question is in trapezium A B C D. So this is the trapezium. I have already drawn it. Length of A B is thirteen centimeter. So this is thirteen centimeter. A D is nine. Sorry, DC is nine, AD is eight. Okay, find the area of trapezium ABCD. Okay, so we have to find the area of trapezium. For that, the formula that we are going to use is going to be area of trapezium is equal to half into sum of the length of parallel sides into height okay so these are the parallel sides and this is supposed to be the height so whatever has been asked is already been given to us so we will write it down that is length of ab is equal to 13 cm it's given length of dc is equal to 9 cm and length of ad is equal to 8 cm this is what we have marked in the figure also so let's use the formula area of a trapezium so trapezium is a b c d okay we'll put it in a bracket we will write a is equal to half into sum of the Length of parallel sides into height. Okay, so half as it is. Sum of the length of the parallel side means these two. So what we have to write, we'll take it a complete bracket. That is length of AB plus length of DC, AB and DC. Okay, into length of AD, which is supposed to be a height. Got it, children? I hope you all have understood how to jot the formula now. Now, area of trapezium ABCD is equal to put the values. Thirteen is going to be length of AB plus DC is nine into eight. Okay, so first we have to complete our bracket. That is going to be into twenty two. Okay, so this is going to be twenty two into eight. So two ones are two fours are. So what is left? Twenty two into four. You all can remove the bracket at the first step only. Sorry, at the second step you all can remove the bracket. So trapezium A B C D. When you multiply this, the answer is going to be area of trapezium ABCD is supposed to be eighty-eight square centimeter. Square centimeter. Why? Because we have found the area. Therefore, area of trapezium ABCD is eighty-eight square centimeter. I hope you all have understood the first sum. Let's do the second one now. Now, length of the two parallel sides of a trapezium are this and this. So, trapezium, the parallel sides, we will take it as uh, A, B, C, D, or whatever you all want it. Okay. So, this is eight point five. This is eleven point five. Okay. This is a rough figure. You all can draw. Uh, uh, as a fair figure, also I have just drawn it for your explanation. Even if you all don't uh, draw it, it's okay. So the parallel sides of a trapezium are this much. We have marked it, and its height is four point two. So this is going to be four point two, same as we did the first sum. Find the area. Okay. So again, we will write the formula. That is area of trapezium is equal to Half into sum of parallel sides into height. Okay, 
so half into parallel sides are 8.5 plus 11.5 i hope you all know how to add the decimal numbers okay so into 4.2 that is supposed to be a height so 4 two ones are two twos are and when you add this the number that you are going to get is 10 Oh, not ten. We will add it. Eight point five plus eleven point five. So ten, nine. So the answer is twenty into two point one. Okay, let's check it. Nine, ten. Yes, the answer is twenty point zero. You all can only write twenty also into two point one. So once you multiply this, children, the answer is going to be forty two. Square centimeter. So, area of trapezium is this much. Got it? I hope you all have understood it. Multiplication in the same way as we do the multiplication at the end, you all have to add the decimal point. Let's do the third sum now. Trapezium P Q R S is an isosceles trapezium. Length of PQ. Okay, only PQ is seven centimeter. PM is perpendicular to segment SR. SM is three centimeter. Only this much is three centimeter. Distance between the two parallel is two parallel side is four centimeters. Okay, two parallel means this is supposed to be how much? Four centimeter. Find the area of PQ RS. Okay, so again. Whatever is been given, we will write it down. That is, length of PQ is seven centimeter. Length of SM is equal to three centimeter. Okay. Length of PS is equal to length of QR. Okay. So PS is equal to QR as they have already shown in the figure. Okay. This marks means they have they are equal. Okay, that is what we have to do. Then draw Q N Q N perpendicular to side S R. Okay, perpendicular to side S R we have to draw. Over here also P M is perpendicular to S R that has been given in the question. Okay, so distance between Parallel lines is constant. Okay, so distance between the parallel lines are constant. Therefore, Q N is also four centimeter. So this is what we have got from a property. If this is four centimeter, how much is this going to be? This is also going to be four centimeter as it is parallel on the same S R side. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now you will see that we have got two right angles over here, children. Okay, so we have to use that property only. Okay, in right angle that is PMS and QNR. PMS QNR. We are having two right angles. Okay, so hypotenuse property we have to use. What is going to be its hypotenuse of PM is going to be PS is congruent to hypotenuse QR. Okay, hypotenuse for of this triangle is this of this is going to be this. Okay, so from this property, what we have got is that triangle PMS is congruent to triangle. Q N R by hypotenuse side test. Clear, children? Now, therefore, length of N R is equal to length of S M. The lengths are going to be same. Okay, you all can refer the diagram as I am writing it. Therefore, length of N R is equal to three centimeter. Now you will see 
we are having this as 3 cm which was already been given in the question. Okay, it was given. So, how much is this going to be? This is also going to be 3 cm only that what is we have written. So, PMNQ you will see is a rectangle. Now, we have formed a rectangle. Therefore, length of MN is equal to length of PQ is equal to 7 cm. Okay, now if this is 4 cm, this is also 4 cm that we have written, isn't it? This is 3 cm, this is also 3 cm we have already written. Now that we have written MN is also equal to PQ that is 7 cm. So this side is also now 7 cm as we have said that this is a rectangle. Opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. Okay, now from this we have got length of SR is equal to length of SM plus length of MN plus length of NR. Okay. Therefore, length of SR. Now, why we have taken so many lengths, children? Because see, we need SR. So, SM plus MN plus NR. Got it? That is what we have written it over here. So, this is how much? 3 plus 7 as I have shown you is equal to 3. Therefore, length of SR is how much? 13 cm. Now, we have to put our trapezium formula. Area of trapezium is equal to half into sum of the lengths of parallel sides into height. Okay. So, that is half into 17 plus 13 into 4. So, 2 1s are 2 twos are when you add this. So, I will again write it that is half into 7 plus 13 into 4 that is half into when you add this this is going to be 20 into 4 so 2 ones are 2 twos are so 20 into 2 is going to be 40 square centimeter so now at the end the trapezium area of trapezium PQRS is 40 square centimeter i hope this exercise is clear to everyone children it is very easy this sum looks lengthy but it is very easy to solve it if there is any problem regarding any question please let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer your queries see you in the next video take care bye